And so the story reached to its completion. However, let me explain how it began. I do not exist. There are no names, no forms, no concepts, no limits. For them, I'm invisible just like the freedom that awaits them by birthright. The more I get close to them, and the more I understand how far they are from their true nature. I could show them the way, however, I do not have enough time. They wouldn't understand. Instead, I shall give them life. Nobody's looking. Now. It's always the same routine. The same old stealing. But how can you consider stolen something the nature kept at us? How can they transform the value of life into a price? Their purpose in life is to gather riches. Mine instead is just to live. And the people who think like me are destined to a life of solitude. They materialize everything. Even knowledge has become just a piece of paper. I don't have this piece of paper. Therefore, I have no value. Here they go again. Pathetic. Nature's vice echoes all around them. But they let their minds be infected so easily. They are lost without their god. It's funny how you can recognize people just by looking at them. In a few seconds I saw the grading merchant, the scholar and the priest with his followers. By now they're all labeled. There is nothing to discover in them. Finally home! Here I can feel free. There is only me and that which I love doing. Since I was a small girl, I love testing the free expression of every single thing in its total and imperfect form. I let myself be transported by the voice of my instinct and the echoes of nature, free. I benefit from the infinite exploration of myself and by the forgotten magic of art. She's just like I imagined her, <laughs> different. She's one sexy girl. I'm kinda sorry I found someone like her only to talk about my plan. Here comes the scum of society, just like me. Those who hope to make a living by patient a few school. the golden frog, one of the deadliest animals on the planet. And here is my deserved prize. The usual. This is just what I need. I don't know what the fuck to do with all this money. But let's go back to us. I was talking about our mission. 
I want to change things, this whole damn system. I want to find those like me who have something special. I like to call them the chosen. Only together we will be able to do something, eliminate the powers that control us. This power is also corrupting the air that we breathe, just like a cancer that enters our lungs. How could I present myself? Could I say, hey, sweet? this tune how did you get here and so long for my presentation i have no choice but to tell them how things are going don't worry sweetheart this guy won't touch you until i'm here i'm not the enemy let me explain the situation what do you want from me why should i trust you you have no choice they see everything they know that you want to change the world by gathering chosen ones and they plan to kill us when we shall all be together in one place. I will have to explain the alternative solution, but first, we have to stop the old knowing. A new dawn is about to arise. Maybe humanity will finally awaken with a new level of consciousness. Or maybe the old knowing will just pass in time. Maybe. It's inevitable that they find us, or maybe it is us who will find them. And so we gather it, we found them, and we killed them. And now came the hardest part. We had to create a new world.